I'm Haika Afi bring you some news update from KPM News. In recent two years, the whole world has been shocked by the COVID-19 pandemic. Based on World Health Organization WHO on 2020, coronavirus, or known as COVID-19, can be defined as an infectious disease that caused by the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, or also known as SARS-CoV-2. Based on today's report, 12 of September 2021, the new COVID-19 cases in Malaysia has reached 19,198 cases, and this situation has increased the concerns of all people in Malaysia. Focus on education. The school session in Malaysia will be continued in online learning, and only examination classes will be called to the schools for most of the staff in Malaysia. Consequently, the teachers and students still have to face the challenges of online learning that might cause bad outcome for both parties. So, it's why today we are from School of Learning and Science Lahada to have conduct a research regarding this issue. Today, we will present our research with title Online Learning, the Challenges and Ways for Improvement. Before we go into the deeper parts, first thing first, we need to know what is online learning, what is the definition, what is the meaning. So, based on Putra XL 2020, online learning is learning activities that carried out with online media and face to face meetings are replaced with internet based virtual. Before the pandemic, the students are used to go to school, university, or other places of study to personal knowledge, but now it has changed where teaching and learning are done online to prevent the spread of this COVID 19 virus. Which which is indeed very harmful to students and teachers. Although this situation has prevented us from doing our lives as usual, but not all things should be postponed, one of which is education. Therefore, indeed learning in this way is one of the educational innovations in response to the challenges of the availability of varied learning resources. This is said by Manulang and Sartre 2020. The COVID-19 has brought a huge impact in our education and this new type of learning has a big difference compared with the traditional one. The main difference is our learning used to be physical, while right now we are using video learning. Then, in other learning, it can be both synchronous and asynchronous learning, but face-to-face -face learning only can be synchronous. Synchronous learning means the learning is running in real time, while synchronous is the other way around. This means, in physical learning, teachers are engaging students in real-time in a classroom, while in the online world, real-time learning can be done through streams and Zoom calls, or teachers can record a learning video for students to check out at a later date. Besides that, online learning also gives one the access to educational materials and information that is more than face-to-face -face learning. Other than that, the current learning gives a more personalized kind of learning for students, while the physical one is more to a group classroom learning. So, our objective here are to determine the challenges faced by teachers and students in online learning and to identify the ways to improve the effectiveness of online learning. Focus on methodology. This research is a quantitative approach because we want to generalize the results to wider population. While the method used is the survey method because it is very suitable in uncovering perspectives related to online learning. As for the survey, the question A was made in a Google form so that it was easily shared and accessed by the teachers and students in Sabah. Before that, a pilot test of the survey conducted to teachers of Skolamuna Science Ladatu to validate our question A. Then, necessary modifications were made based on their feedback. But why we choose Sabah? Because the research gap where there is lack of research of online learning in Sabah have conducted before and Sabah is a less developed state and have large of rural area. The data obtained were analyzed by frequency of common response and were stated in percentage. The subject in this research were 476 of secondary school students, 29 of UFC students, and 32 of teachers from various districts in Sabah. As you can see on the pie chart, there are over 18 districts in Sabah involved in this research, and it almost covered all districts in Sabah. Then, most of the respondents are from rural and suburban areas that could satisfy the research gap and prove our research precisely. To begin with, we have received responses from 537 respondents who have their own opinions related to online learning. So as we can see here, there are 62.8% of students and teachers who enjoy online learning and the rest do not which is 37.2%. This shows that online learning can be accepted to replace face-to-face -face learning. Nevertheless, we cannot deny that not everyone enjoy online learning and some of them may be like online learning for certain reasons only, but there are still among them who have many challenges that need to be faced during online learning. From our research, 
we can now get what students and teachers like about online learning. The most thing they like about it is the free environment. Other than that, they like more exposure on technology and apps for a good purpose. Have more time for self and family, personalized learning, and could apply many types of study or teaching methods. Now, we go to the first objective, what challenges do they face in online learning? The result of survey shows that 64% people choose for internet connection as one of the challenges that faced by most students and teachers during online learning. Cik Ahmad Azhar et al. said that poor connection may disturb the learning process such as live session, and the quality of information that has been delivered will be affected, and this problem is more pronounced for students and teachers in rural areas. Second, lack of motivation is the second most challenge that chosen by respondents with 60%. As Shang and Harsha 2012 stated that what we learn when we choose to learn and how we learn can be affected by motivation. But an effective teaching method, lesson presentation, or interaction can also lead to lower motivation for learning. Third, poor interaction between students and teachers. Dr. Zaima Azhar et al. said in their research, communication is a motivational tool for students in their studies. It is very important for transferring thoughts. Hence, if the interaction between students and teachers are poor, the students will less involved and interested to their classes. And this is agreed by 58.8% respondents from our survey. Meanwhile, these three challenges are the lowest percentage from our survey which are mental health issues with 42.9%, lack of technical skills for online system with 57.2%, and lastly, lack of digital device with only 31.8% in total. Move on to the second objective, there are six major ways to improve the effectiveness of online learning and the highest choice is the government or the responsible parties need to provide better internet access especially in the rural area with 62.2% people agreed. Muhammad Adnan et al. 2020 also suggests this way for the undeveloped area in Pakistan due to high complaint about unstable connection during online class. When better internet access can be provided, thus it will make the online learning become smoothly without any interruption. The second highest choice in this graph with 58.8% is school or institution should provide effective timetable like three to four subjects only per day. This thing will reduce the student stress that caused by too much learning session in a day. Moreover, Brennan and Kubis Chang et al. 2005 in his research by reducing scheduled time can optimize every subject's learning and increase the student achievement. Thirdly, 50.7% of respondents agreed that teacher or lecturer should encourage two-way communication and creative approach during online learning. This thing will make the learning session become more active and interesting for students to join the online class. Shivani Rawan 2020 once said that educators must spend a lot of time in making effective strategies for giving online instruction because creative communication is the key for better online learning. Next, 50.1% of respondents agreed that government or the responsible parties should give free digital devices to the indeed. For example, government of Sabah donates 10,000 laptop through Bantuan Ehsan computer to the 4.5 and 4.6 students in the state start from 19 July 2021. But this effort is still not comprehensive because it's only focusing on 4.5 and 4.6 students only. So more donation involves the other levels and grades should be provided in future. Lastly, the two lowest percentage of the waste for improvement is program to boost one's motivation should be had from time to time with only 48.6% of respondents agree. And schools or institutions should give extra classes or webinar course to increase skills in using technology with only 28.3% of respondents agree. Therefore, I don't really think these two ways can improve the effectiveness of online learning, especially in summer. In conclusion, all the challenges first need to be addressed promptly and effectively. The government as well as schools play an important role in this matter so that every student has equal right to education and no one is left behind. Last but not least, small sample size and scope of discussion were some of the major limitations of this research study. As the result, mainly based on the opinions of students in Sabah only. Future researchers should either increase the sample size or choose Malaysia as the research area. Plus, the inclusion of more teachers or lecturers in future studies might help in understanding the issues faced by instructors regarding online education. Last but not least, these are our references in conducting this research. That's all from us. Thank you.